Hello and welcome to my little presentation that I made on probability. And I'm doing this mainly for the grade sixes and I'd like to um, uh, introduce about four new things to probability. And two of them are some things you should already know and two of them are new. So number one, just normal probability that you should know. Number two, adding probability. Number three, independent events. And number four, dependent events. So let's do nor normal probability. Let's say I had a spinner that had okay, four red um, sections, green was three sections, and yellow is two sections. What's the probability I will spin either one? Now, this is going to be our fraction. This number, the top number, the numerator, right here, will have to be um, the number of red. So I can put four there. But the numerator is all of these added. So like the total number of sections. So that's um, uh, nine. So four over nine. Nine. Now let's see green. Green would be okay over nine because there's a total of nine. But let's just put the three here. Red would make it three over nine. Again, we know that it's going to be over 9, but the 2 goes right there, and then it's 2 over 9. Simple enough. But let's say we want to get the probability of spinning a red or a green. So there's 4 red plus 3 green. So let's just put a line there. So we have 7 total. So this is going to be our fraction 9 total sections. So 9 total, sec so total sections are plus G. That goes there. So Seven out of nine is our final fraction. Now let's talk about independent events. Now, if there's a twenty-five percent chance that it'll rain on on Saturday, and a fifty percent chance that it'll rain on Sunday, is there a seventy-five percent chance that it will rain on? like the entire weekend? Well, 25 plus 50 is 75. But that does not mean that the probability will be 75%. Let's think of this a different way. Let's just clear this. And let's say that I wanted to, let's say, okay, so 25% we know is one fourth. Okay. 75, I mean, um, 50%, 50% is one half. So, what we would do is we would take one fourth. And multiply it by one half. Now let's just get the answer. One one one. That's eight. So one over eight slat and one over eight or twelve point five percent chance that you that it will rain all weekend. So there's a 12.5% chance that it will rain all weekend slash 1 over 8. Now let's talk about dependent events. So there's three bags. 
Okay. Let's read that. This one has a rotten apple in it. This one has a good apple and a good apple. Timmy and t Tim and Tom. Tim and Tom want to, uh, want to choose a fresh apple, obviously. But what's the probability that they will both get a fresh apple? So, let's think about it like this. Let's just say that Tim were to get a good apple. Now, what was the probability of that? We know that there's two fresh apples and one bad apple. So, what's the chance that he would get a fresh apple? Obviously... 2 over 3. There's 3 total apples, 2 fresh ones. Now, a minute. Let's just say that he were to get a good apple, a fresh apple. Then, there would be 1 fresh apple and 1 bad apple. So Tom's choice was affected by Tim's choice. And Tom's choice. So he has a half chance, or a 50% chance, of getting a fresh apple. And the same for a bad apple. Now, so Tim had Tim, so 10 times Tom equals our answer. And so the probability of Tim getting it in the beginning, 2 out of 3, times 1 over 2, which is the probability of Tom getting the apple. Now again, Tim's decision affected Tom's decision. So this will equal 2 times 1, that's 2 over 3 times 2, that's 6. So 2 over 6, which will reduce to 1 over 3. 1 over 3 chance, there's a 1 over 3 probability that Tim and Tom will both get a fresh apple. I hope you learned something from this, and I hope it helps you. Goodbye.